Tuesday. I am getting myself ready for the day. I've air wrapped my hair. Now I'm looking, I'm looking absolutely crazy. I just thought I would show you. The aftermath of this is that I've been rolling around with Bo stupidly. So my pin curls haven't quite stayed in the same as ever, but you should have seen it by now. I've put up a reel about how I do my hair like this. And if you look after it, it stays in pretty well. But um, yeah, I just thought before I pull it all out, I'd show you the vibe. So this is the way I've been using the air wrap recently. I've been getting so many requests to do like a little tutorial of how I'm doing my air wrap um, and doing my hair and making it super bouncy recently. And this is it. So yeah, you might want to go see that reel. So I'm literally just pinned, pretty much it's all about pin curling pinning the hair after each and every curl just to allow it to cool into place and it's the cooling that really is the kind of the winning factor here yes yeah, so i'm just feeling through taking out like i mean it takes obviously it takes more time but if you have something that you're planning on doing you know you've got an event to go to whatever like i just had these in for the last few hours while i've just been doing my hair and doing bits of bits of work which is why they they were looking a bit worse to wear but look how amazing they look now, and also they won't stay like this, I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna brush them out and all that and make it look pretty, but just wanted to show you this is what I've been doing, um, this is how I've been finding the air wrap working even better for me like this. So let me just get the rest of these and I'm gonna show you the vibe. It's just been the bank holiday, so the builders have been off all weekend obviously, and they're back in today, so hopefully work will be finished this week. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. Not only that it'll be finishing, but also that we get a finished garden and no more noise. Yeah, it's quite exciting really. So this currently is the hair after it's been pulled out of the pin curls. So what I like to do, I mean, I've seen people on the internet now using part of the Dyson to like brush through it. In honesty, I don't know if my hair would withstand that. Sorry, I keep talking over the builder's noise and it it's not gonna be good. So instead I like to use a big wide tooth comb like this instead all my hands and like really get in there with my hands. And then I'm just gonna have some finishing spray. Look how big and bouncy that is now. It really does work wonders this trick. I think I first saw it on um, TikTok a few months ago actually. I can't remember now whose TikTok I saw. But yeah, and I was like, I'm gonna try that. And I recently started trying it and was like, yeah, this works so well. The Bumble and Bumble soft texture finishing spray. So it's kind of like a hairspray, meets volumizer, meets soft volume. I would also add a little bit of hairspray as well, and I might do, but you're currently sat on a hairspray. <laughs> you're on a hairspray bottle right now. Yeah, I mean, that looks so good, doesn't it? So good. So that is, that's my new hair routine, pretty much. Um, new favourite lipstick, by the way, the Armani Lip Power 102. I used to use 103, which again is gorgeous. I've used a fair amount of this. I did an ad campaign for this, but actually I then realised there was a 102 with an even lighter shade. And oh my goodness, I'm so in love with this. Just like the way it sits into the contours of the lips. And it's my perfect light beige nude pink. Just so you know, guys, it's amazing. Sorry, too busy getting distracted by my phone. Um, so today I um, just have a few things I need to get sorted because we're going away on Thursday to Venice. That won't be in this vlog. It'll probably be, no, it won't be in the next vlog either because we're not gonna have time to edit it. It'll probably be in the vlog in a week's time, but I need to pack for it. And I've just done an absolutely incredible net a -porte order. I realized last minute, I realized on Saturday evening that I don't have anything fabulous and somewhat new to wear for Venice. So I thought, why not buy a couple of bits to take with me just to get some really fantastic pictures and shots and show you some new styles as well. So I've picked up a few new bits to show you. In fact, I've actually picked up a lot because I bought a few things in a few sizes just, just to make sure that I wasn't left last minute without anything. And I've picked up a few dresses that would be perfect for Venice. 
I mean, in complete honesty, I'm just very, very excited. This is going to be our first trip abroad in over a year. As you know, we used to be like travel bloggers at one point before COVID. So I'm, I'm genuinely just really, really excited. And I think that excitement has led me just to want a few new pieces, as we all do when we go on holiday. So I've um, picked up a couple of new bits. Yeah, so I thought I'd show those to you in a little minute. It's just arrived. Thankfully, I was really worried it wasn't going to arrive in time. So I'm just thrilled to bits. The post has been on side this week, so I'm just going to unbox that in a little minute with you. For now, I just want to go and see the garden, because I think the guys have just put some more lights in. Today's our anniversary. Two years. Two since years. our actual wedding ceremony, we got married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what should we have for lunch? We've what? got a tuna salad. Oh wow, yesterday. right. Yeah, I know, but I'd rather have, I'd rather have something else. Something nice. Let's have salmon with scrambled egg wraps. What do I have here? Parcels! Yes! Oh, hoo -hoo. It's a little goodie bag of Armani beauty bits that I needed top ups of for Le Trip. I've got a new luminous silk. I wanted to go a little tiny bit darker with the luminous silk shades because when I'm not tanned, I'm usually like a four. 4.5, then I recently tried a 5, which was even better, but I feel like recently I've been tanning a lot. Salmon, just with scrambled eggs and yeah, and wrap, be nice. So I thought I'd try shade 5.5, .5, which looks pretty good actually. So they sent me 5.5. Oh look, for you, Stronger With You Freeze. Oh cool. If you twin the trip. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning male platform. Ooh, I've also got a 6 in luminous silk. Okay, so 5.5 is more neutral toned. Six is much more yellow toned to the base. So maybe even the six might be better for me actually. I've got a classical mascara because my Eccentrico is on its way out. I've got the Lip Power in 400. So I've got a perfect, perfect red. 400 classic Armani red. Cause I thought on the red carpet, I might wanna do like a red lip. So I've gone for that, and then I've also gone for 201, which is like a really lovely kind of deep, it's almost like a deep mauvey pink in case I want to go for more of like a nudey mauve um, that's deeper and not so light. And then I can use the Lip Power 102 in the middle. Oh, I've also got Luminous Silk Powder in nine. Gorgeous bronze. Beautiful deep bronze. So I'm gonna look super bronzy. Well, I've got a couple of lip powers in here, so I'm like sorted for any of the colours that I might want to do. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. 303. It's like a coral. Oh, you can see all these colours properly. There we go. It's like a corally, corally orange. I have the eyeliner. I used to kill designer eyeliner in a lovely deep chocolate brown. That would be perfect, just to create a bit of a wing, it's a bit more natural. Got a lip power in 108. Again, it's just like a lovely pink tone. So I've got a red, I've got a pink, I've got a deep mauve, I've got a coral, and I've got a nude, so I'm like covered for every type of dress that I wear. Ooh, and then I got a new um, Iron Chic Melting Balm because I'm just absolutely in love with these right now. This one is in shade 51 and it's a beautiful, that is just stunning. It's like a light blushy peach tone. That is absolutely beautiful. Divine. Wow, I'm really excited about that actually. Yeah, so thank you Armani. Oh wait, I've got one more, one more lip power in 405. That's more of a, a, a dark, rich red. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I've got brows, liner, bronzer, foundation, mascara. Amazing. And then here, I've got a, so I've got a campaign coming up with Valentino. So it's got some beautiful new bits with Valentino, bits away. I've also got the Cremonera Neo Cream Repairing Liquid to Cream. Wow, this is like an incredible moisturizer. This concentrated yet lightweight liquid visibly transforms on the skin into a nurturing cream, allowing ingredients to diffuse into the skin. Thank you, Armani. Right, so Alex is on with lunch. In fact, you've done it. You've made it. Got that so quick. Anyway. Got salmon with scrambled eggs on wraps. Okay, let's have a little look at this box. I'm a touch apprehensive. I'm just hoping things fit me. 
so that I've got some lovely things to wear for this trip. Right, let's see what we got. So, as way of disclaimer, this part of the vlog is going to be a paid for advertorial with net -a -porte. Very, very proud, as always, to work with net -a -porte. You guys know how much I organically buy from there and what a huge fan I am of the brand. So the fact that they work with me is really um, an honour and I'm so proud. So, like I said, these pieces I thought would work perfectly for Venice, but equally I've chosen items that are very, very me. Um, things that I would want to keep in my wardrobe for a long time. Um, quite a number of the pieces are actually in the sustainable section of Net Porte as well, which I love, um, in their net sustain section. And there's a big wide range of brands in here as well, so I think you guys might quite like this little haul. Of course, as always, I, I bought all this with my own money. I'll be keeping the things that I think will work for me, otherwise I'll be sending them back after this haul. So let me know your opinions, what you love, what you don't. Beautiful. First up, Little Reformation dress. Well, this is beautiful. How gorgeous is this dress? I thought something that was really lightweight and a bit more flowy, kind of thing I could wear walking around Venice for the day that just felt really feminine. I love the way this is cut. Like it feels really secure as well. Pretty little spaghetti straps, a bit ruching to the back to make it a little bit more comfortable. And this is the, the length. I'm seriously up against the builders right now. I'm kind of talking in between them cutting things. Um, yeah, what do you think? The more I look at it, the more I'm absolutely smitten with it. It's so pretty. I'll leave it linked down below, by the way. Am I falling out? No, but it's good. Um, I'll leave it linked down below. Everything else will be linked after this as well. In order of appearance. I think this is absolutely divine. I feel so feminine and pretty in this. It's really figure hugging and flattering, but also so like loose and you know, pretty little bit of leg. I actually love this, really, really love this. Okay, next up, oh, ole male. Oh gosh, divine, divine, divine. There's another cinnamon dress that I wanted to order, which I'm going to order. For Netta Porti, I've just launched an Italian distribution center. So you can now buy things and if they are stocked in Italy, they'll be sent over to the UK. It just means it's going to be even more stock than ever. But the Zimmerman dress I wanted was over in Italy, so I wouldn't have had time to get it for this. So instead, I went for this beautiful baby. Um, you know how I feel about Zimmerman anyway. And um, this is divine. Let's try this. Uh, la, la. Hello, oh my gosh, how amazing is this dress? Wow, the cut of this. Oh, wait, where's this come from? This is so absolutely stunning. The way it's cut, it really, it's really flattering. It fits perfectly. So it comes around the back, almost like a skirt, but then obviously that attaches to the bust. This is completely like flat to me, super tight. Nothing's coming out of this bad boy. Beautiful sleeves, detail. The broidery, the colours is cream on white. Oh. Now this, obviously, women have put their prices up recently, quite substantially, I feel. This is not a low price dress. So do I keep it or do I not? It is absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? Oh gosh, sorry guys, the noise today is crazy. If I accidentally start talking over the noise, it's because I'm in the moment and I'm not hearing the noise. It's been eight weeks of noise. I now kind of channel that out. <laughs> yes, I think just because I'm a bit of a Zimmerman collector. I saw Josie's video recently about her whole Zimmerman collection and I feel that's a video I need to film because I have quite the collection too. It's my, uh, it's probably say it's one of my favourite dress brands. So this is completely different to all the other cuts I have. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Okay, I could talk about this for days, but let's move on. We don't have all day. And now... This one could not be any different from this one. But as you know, I um, I like to kind of play around with the styles that I wear. I'm not afraid of colour, I'm not afraid of structure and shape and a bit of pizzazz. This is such a cool brand. And again, I was just kind of thinking outside the box, some really cool outfits, something a bit more unusual, maybe a bit more unique in my outfit collection. And I saw this in the new in, a little bit of love with it. So I thought I'd give it a whirl, see what we think. Oh. Okay, I wasn't sure how this would go, but actually I kind of love it. The fit is so flattering. What a gorgeous like little, little dress. The shape is amazing. It's so like structured, boss vibes. Like an incredible pair of, ooh, what kind of heels? Something sparkly, maybe something up the ankle. 
these would look with this would look so fab look at that color the structured shoulder pad moment super slinky flattering i mean it's difficult now because i've literally gone from this heavenly angelic dress to this like 80s fun power moment so it's probably quite hard to see the kind of contrast here but um kind of like it this is going to be a bit of a difficult decision i think choosing which ones to keep and take okay let me have a think about this one however if you're like getting back into going like clubbing and going out out goodness i'd want to wear this oh it feels so fabulous what's next Oh, it's so pretty. Right, I, I did go, for this by the way, I did go on a bit of a dress binge. I want to wear lots of little cute, pretty dresses to walk around Venice, to go to St. Mark's Square, to go for lovely lunches with the Armani team, that kind of thing. So I've gone a bit all out with the dresses, which is why I'll be able to try them on now, choose one or two that I'm going to keep. So that's why I'm trying them all on now. So, look at the colour of this now. This is short. Wow. But it's linen. It's a pink linen. You know how I feel about that. Okay, bearing in mind this needs an iron. How pretty is this? Little mini, beautiful ruched sleeves. Gorgeous gathered shoulders. I was thinking I could maybe wear it a bit more like this, but actually there's a bit too much fabric because it is meant to be worn here. I don't have anything like this, like gathered and ruched, really feminine and pretty, just hanging on the edge of the shoulders. This one looks so pretty with my new deal bag. The nudie blush tones, so cute. Yeah, it's definitely very feminine, very pretty. Um, I don't have anything like this. Is it very me? I don't know. I don't know, I kind of, I'm still loving these two right now, although these two are like the same color scheme. This would be a bit different, really girly. What do you think? I have, since I bought my black ribbed vest that I, I bought, few months ago now from Nutter Porter. I'll link that too because it is amazing. I um, wanted a white one. I saw this one, loved the way this cuts around the neck and then it kind of comes over each shoulder with this cut out design. So I've ordered this actually in two sizes just to make sure I got the perfect fit because I kind of wanted to travel to Venice in this because it looks so comfortable. Okay guys, this is actually a triple whammy outfit. I've just tried on because obviously I couldn't show you this without any pants. Um, I also bought these jeans, so these jeans, like wide leg, a really wide fit style, I'm really comfortable, really comfortable actually, again on something really kind of, just a bit more wider leg, a bit more slouchy, a bit more kind of travelable, a bit more around the house, but really chic, um, so I really quite like these, I don't have a shape like these the way they kind of like balloon outwards and then in again really unique now the little vest the little vest out of the two that i got the smaller size fits better for sure this is just taking a little bit of getting used to because obviously these kind of want to do this a little bit and that isn't the vibe I can, i'm sure you could i'm sure you could leave them like this but i think the idea is that you kind of have this tighter tucked and then maybe people just have broader, broader shoulders than me. If you have quite broad shoulders, this will probably fit you like dreaming. For me, it's slightly fallen down, although I don't know if that's putting me off enough because I kind of love it. I think it's really quite cool, this style. And I think this with these as well, really cool, really chic, really like off-duty model vibes. And then I got these boots. Now these are a really short heel ankle boot, beautiful like taupey brown suede. I thought again they'd be a really good travelling boot but also just that very easy boot when I don't want to wear a super high heel. It's got more of a, a flat block so it'll be super comfortable but equally, <laughs> like moving away, but equally quite chic to wear. So that's why I thought they'd look quite cool with these jeans. I mean, on second thoughts, I think actually the jeans are a little bit too wide leg for these boots to really show them off to their full potential. <clears throat> but you can see how nice the colours go. And um, I think if I just had a bit more of a skinnier jean with these boots, it would look fantastic. So I must admit, I'm kind of loving the boots. This would be a really comfortable autumn boot. Kind of love it, but I'm just not sure if... I think it's just because it's out of my comfort zone. These are a little bit wider than normal. 
at the same time, I think they look really comfortable and chic and, and lovely. Let me know, guys. Ooh, I picked up a little swimming costume option for around the pool in Venice. This is like a really, almost a bit metallic-y looking. So it's got a shimmeriness to the fabric. This is just that super stretchy fabric. Could look really fabulous. I'm gonna try it and see. Sorry, I just realised I pulled this out of the box and put it on before the swimming costume. I'll do that in a second. <laughs> I've not got a bra on with it, but of course you just put a little strapless option on. But it's really slinky, form flattering, maxi. It's again like a lovely daytime or evening option. I mean, I could wear it with these for the evening and it would look so phenomenal. Yeah, beautiful. I've got so many choices now. I need to kind of decide between them in a second. Let me try this on now. This is pretty. Scoop front, scoop back. Not too thongy. I must admit though, I do quite like the more thongy. I mean, I, I suppose I could move it in a little bit so it's more flattering. I really love this fabric, so I can't stop feeling myself. Feeling myself. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is like thin corduroy fabric shirt. Okay, so this is so different. Like it's the most beautiful baby blue corduroy, like I said. So it's such soft, beautiful, like cord fabric, but like lightweight. Um, the, it's more like balloon sleeves. So almost a bit more bat wing balloon sleeves, but I would just push those up to where it's tight. Allow that texture just to drape a little bit down the arms. Um, I've thrown on my own belt with this. I actually have literally just bought this recently. I need to get Alex to puncture a new hole in this just so it can be worn as a waist belt too just to cinch this in, but without it, without it though, I kind of love it too. It's a very relaxed fit shirt. It also has pockets, so it works so nicely as like an everyday dress. You can also put a really cute pair of shorts underneath this, like something like the last season Jacquemus. Just so you've got something on for the day, but this will then just do the talking over the top. I kind of, I kind of really like it. Perhaps belted is the way forward with this actually. What do you guys think? Kind of really loving it, but also not sure if it's quite right. Oh, I don't know. Okay, really random one to throw in here. A gorgeous pair of leggings, Stella McCartney. Little pockets in these. Again, not only for me working out, but also as a comfortable uh, travel legging. Let me give these a go. I mean, these at the moment, they look very tight and there's nothing worse than a very tight pair of leggings when you're sat on a plane. I get the worst stomach cramps from things being too tight across my stomach. I've got another double whammy on here, guys. Um, I do have the leggings on, but I need a top to put on, so I put on this one. Isn't it cool? I love this halter with this part kind of bra and cut out into a little top. Beautiful, beautiful fabric. The texture is also really nice. It's this kind of knitted texture. Really lovely. Of course, not with the leggings. This would actually look really great tucked into wide leg jeans. I put them on to show you. Yeah, just so you kind of got that juxtaposition between something that's kind of a little bit more elevated and then something more uh, casual. It kind of like blends it down a little bit for day wear. Yeah, I absolutely really love this top. I love this top. Yeah, it's just that, you know, it's that extra, uh, it's not a t-shirt, it's not a flouncy blouse, it's a very easy piece to wear for day wear that looks like elevated and really stylish and fashionable, but then tucked into a pair of jeans, it does kind of make it look even more cash and just a bit more chilled out. Loving these together. Loving this. Let me just take these off though and I can show you the leggings. The leggings are actually so comfy, I thought they'd fit a bit too tight. They're actually not, they lovely and stretchy. It's a really thick, really like luxurious gym wear fabric, like thick, beautiful quality. Um, I really like the Stella McCartney down the side of the ankle. Yeah, I mean these, not, like I said, not only amazing for working out, and I definitely get a lot of use, love the pockets, as a really great pair of travel like airplane leggings with a gorgeous jumper thrown over top. You know, you can't really, can't really go wrong. I really quite like these. I did get a second option, just in case these weren't right, and I wanted something that was more cottony rather than lycra. 
Yeah, I mean, these are great. They're just lovely, soft, very relaxed, lots of stretch. I think I would go for the leggings, actually, only because they are meant to be slouchy, they are meant to be relaxed. But I also like they're too relaxed on my behind. Yeah, there's not that much shape. That's the only thing. I mean, they're meant to be that way, but I think I've been spending so much time working out my legs and my bum for the past year, well, the past six months. Kind of want to wear things that are a little bit more flattering on me. So I think out of the two, I would go for the leggings. Okay, final two things to try on are the same dress, just one in black and one in coral. I must admit, I'm a little bit in love with this colour. Colour's phenomenal. Um, it's just, it's probably just not me, is it? Again, you've got that incredible cinnamon dress, even the pretty pink linen. As fun as this is, like if I was going to Ibiza, a bit more night out, then yeah. I think I was just feeling the summery vibes. I also admit, I actually like the black more. It's very mini. So, not sure. Let me get some clothes on and let's just debrief. Obviously, I spent a lot of money here. The purpose being to find some really great bits. And as I always do, I always send them back after trying them on just to, just so I've had like a good look at everything. So let's just see. The pieces I love the absolute most are, without a doubt, I mean, this is probably really obvious, but the Zimmerman just fit me like a glove. Um, I got the size zero, 00. This is the smallest size to do. It's a size UK6. It just fit like an absolute glove. So I think this, this is a definite yes. The little Reformation dress, I realise it's very similar colours to the Zimmerman, but it's a very different shade. It'll be great for the daytime, but equally this will look beautiful even like in the autumn with a gorgeous jumper over top and then leaving the skirt showing that would be a really beautiful way to layer this i think this is gorgeous it could be day wear and then dressed up for evenings i think this is a great choice i think i'm going to keep the stellar leggings only because genuinely now this has been something i've been looking for for a while is a really great pair of stylish leggings that I can wear when I'm traveling um, and feel flattered but also comfortable and they're such a fantastic like luxurious fabric so I think they are kind of on the money. I think this little top again fit me beautifully. Brown is huge for the season as well, the colour brown. Very much my style as well like you know like the boobs and a bit of cutouts and things and I think I can dress this again up or down. So I think that's a winner as well for me. So I'm just tidying as I go here. This coral dress honestly was just divine but probably not quite right for the occasion. The other two I'm really toying between are do I go a bit more bright and loud and colourful or do I stay a bit more pretty and cute? I think maybe this one. And the only other one I'm really deciding on is the jeans because I mean I got them in a 25 which is my usual size. They fit so well. They looked really cool. I think it's because I'm not used to seeing myself in super wide leg pants, but I really loved the vibe of them overall. So yeah, I'm just gonna decide, I'm just gonna decide between those ones now and the 34, the smallest size in the white tank as to whether I think it looked great on me. So I'm gonna have a think about it. But like I said, guys, I'll leave everything linked down below for you if you saw something that you loved. I feel like this was actually a really great haul of pieces that are very kind of transitional as well with lots of things in here that would transition really well into autumn and um, would be great layering pieces for winter as well so let me know everything will be linked down below as always thank you so much netta porte for working with me again on this video and for kind of helping me choose some new bits for venice I'm very very excited about this Okay, so rest of the day, I have a project to shoot now. I have a Dior perfume project I need to shoot. Um, and then I'm actually just going to get packing. So again, I think when the packing moment happens, again, I'll be able to see new things in my closet that I want to take with me anyway, alongside these beautiful new pieces. And I can get a really good impression of what to keep, what not to. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the little haul, guys. And I found a puppy. Hey, darling. Yeah, I'm full chilling. Are you chilling out? What are you up to? Sleep. Have you been asleep? I've been asleep. By the way, guys, this dress is still available. We still have a couple of sizes left. Aww. Can I just speak to everyone a second, darling, and then I'll take you down? <laughs> Got a little tail. Yeah, we just we just had um because it was so popular, we had more made. So we have a number of these now still on online. And I know that I put things on stories recently. If you haven't heard, my second collection with Holland Cooper is coming out soon. So I think I'm gonna tell you all about that in my next video, actually. Very, very exciting for me. <laughs> 
huge news uh, and I shared some of the sketches on my stories the other day so it was amazing the feedback that I got from that and people messaging me about it so really exciting but we still have this collection we still have a few pieces left so definitely go take a little peek if you haven't already so it's been a nice eventful afternoon. We went out to these beautiful like barley fields and shot some um, shot some pictures and a little reel. So that we ticked off, we got home at like seven and we've made some delicious food. This is like a little anniversary dinner and honestly we're kind of, we're thinking that we just want to celebrate more so in Venice than here. Just because today and tomorrow are just quite busy days, we're kind of wrapping up a lot of work just so we have nothing to take with us and we can kind of have a clean slate and a bit of a nice trip and not have to have any pressure. And so in honesty I can't even really think about the anniversary yet until, you know, until we're in Venice and we can just be a bit more chilled out and yeah I can really enjoy it then. Um, I've just been editing up um, the vlog and sorting out a few things for that. For some reason I was on Instagram earlier and at the moment it's got me thinking because at the moment I feel like so many people are pregnant or having babies. Um, my cousin's just given birth so I'm calling myself an auntie. I am an auntie again, which I'm absolutely over the moon about. I cannot wait to meet my little nephew. But so many people right now are either pregnant or have just given birth. And I feel like there's a real like baby fever at the moment. And I'm so excited for everybody. Like um, loads of girls that I know in the industry are getting pregnant. Um, and that is just, yeah, absolutely amazing. And it just got me thinking earlier. I mean, to, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I've been thinking about this now for months and months and months. It's also such a tricky kind of topic to talk about, but I thought I haven't spoken about the topic of children. I mean, Alex having children now for quite some time. I think last time that we spoke about it, it might've been during like a podcast we did or it might even have just been like a bit of a Q and A we did. The question that people ask is always, when are you having kids? Especially now that we're married and now obviously it's a two year anniversary today and I think this is why I've been thinking about it a little bit more and I've been getting a few messages recently about getting pregnant and having babies and having kids and it's kind of, it's kind of been on my mind a little bit more than normal, probably because of that. Especially like a few, a few weeks ago, I posted a picture of me in a bikini and I got maybe 20 odd messages saying no congratulations that you're pregnant. <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> like genuinely all, it's just because I'd leant back and I'd stuck out my, my stomach, I'd been, I was leaning back for the shot and I had like billowing blouse on. So, you know, to someone overly, overly looking into it could be like, oh wow, she looks like she's pregnant. But I just genuinely think that at this point in time, we should not be asking people or even assuming that someone is pregnant. I just thought we'd all kind of seen those horror stories when people say to someone who has just put on a few pounds and says, oh, you're pregnant. And it's like, no, I'm not. You know, we've all seen those like comedy sketches and been like, oh, cringe, as if you'd ever want to be that person. So the fact that I got those kind of messages was like, wow, people are still saying this kind of stuff in 2021. Anyway, no, I'm not pregnant. I would have thought those people before writing that kind of thing as well would maybe go to my stories, where if they'd gone on my stories, they would have seen me in the mirror, in a bikini, looking probably my slimmest I've ever looked blatantly with no belly so it's like you know do a bit of research before you say oh congratulations i just think people need to be so careful with that kind of thing as well because obviously there are a lot of women out there who are trying or may have miscarried um or who can't have babies and to some people if some people come out with oh congratulations you're pregnant to someone who had been trying or had recently lost a baby how truly awful for that person so let's just not ask women that question anymore. It's a really, really sensitive topic. And I guess that's why I don't talk about this very often anyway. But equally, at the same time, the world right now, especially with social media, you see so much about women getting pregnant, having babies, even about women who are, you know, going through IVF or going through a pregnancy journey. And in honesty, the thing you don't see much of is people talking about them not having children or a life without children. I feel like I don't know many people online, apart from maybe Jenny Mustard, 
who I adore watching, who very outwardly speaks about the fact that they don't want to have kids. But other than Jenny, I haven't really seen many people talk about it so openly and say, you know what, we don't want to have kids. And honestly, that's kind of what I'm, I'm saying, really, is at this point in time, me and Alex are kind of unsure. We're not sure if we want kids, we're not sure if we don't want kids. We might not want them now, doesn't mean we might not want them in five years. We are very happy and content as a little family of three, with our home life, with our family life, with our relationship. And I don't know, right now at this point, I don't see having children as a part of my journey, in honesty. That's just personally how I feel about it. You know, I have I have so many best friends with so many wonderful children. I know so many people with children and that is wonderful and they're all beautiful, gorgeous, fantastic children. And I just don't feel those feelings when I think about, you know, would I wanna be a mum? Do I wanna be a parent? I don't get that broodiness. I don't get that feeling of, that pull towards motherhood. I guess I'm just very, very passive, I think, about the whole thing. So yeah, at this point in time, we're not sure. Like I say, down the line, it might change, and who knows, in three years time, I mean, I'm 32 now, in three years time, who's to say, I might be like, Do you know what, actually, yeah, I'm ready now. But as a 32 year old woman now, I am not ready. I don't know if I'll ever be ready. I know a lot of people say, you're never gonna be ready, you just gotta go for it. But at the same time, I also don't have any percentage of pull towards being a mother. And I think that's the difference between someone who in their heart feels like, you know what, I'm gonna be a mother. I'm not ready now, but I might be in the future. Right now, at this point in time, I don't think I know if I want to be a mother in three years time, in five years time, in 10 years time. And you know what? If that's the case, and I don't want to have children, that's so okay. So yeah, and I think I just thought, because we're so open with you on this channel about everything. I've just seen a few more baby comments and DMs ramp up recently. And especially like with it being two year anniversary, whatever. I'm just in a bit of a headspace right now where I just felt like I wanted to say something about it. I wanted to say something as well for any of you listening who can relate, who feel similarly. And you know what? I'd really love to hear from any of you who feel the same, whether you're younger than me, older than me, my around my age, and you too are feeling like, you know what? I don't think it's in my personal journey to have kids too. In honesty, I'm kind of looking for that sort of conversation and discussion. I feel like it's kind of drummed into you as a young child that you will grow up, fall in love, buy a house, have two children, three children, and spend your life together with your husband and your children. It's kind of drummed into you that that is like the journey of life. And I've always questioned that myself for a very, very long time, probably since my parents divorced at 11. The kind of idea of that being the pathway of life has never really sat well with me anyway. It's such a difficult thing to talk about because again, I feel, I feel not many women talk about it. And I think it's just not talked about that much. It's a little bit like taboo because, you know, out of all the women I know, there's only one person that I know of maybe two, who are, who are kind of in a similar mindset to me, who feel like they don't want to have kids. Out of all the other women I know, they all want kids or have kids. So it's a very smaller percentage still of women that aren't as bothered about being a mother. And so there aren't as many people to talk to about it, to open up and to share feelings and thoughts on it. So yeah, I'd kind of love to just speak to any of you guys about it. Are any of you, you know, in your 40s plus and haven't had kids and what kind of advice could you give me? Any of you that are in your 30s or even 20s and you decided you don't want to have kids too? Again, I'd kind of love that discussion. And for any of you who are mothers or wanting to get pregnant equally, I'd love your thoughts too. Um, I'd love to keep it just a really positive space. Like I say, don't hold into this in five years. Who's to say what's going to happen? I really hope that's kind of made some sense. I feel like I've just sort of word vomited. Again, it, why, is, why is this such a difficult topic to talk about? You know, there's nothing wrong with the fact that a woman does not want to have a child. 
why do I feel so awkward about this? Yeah, it's been years since I mentioned about babies, so I thought, why not give you a bit of an update on how I'm actually feeling, where my headspace is, and hopefully some of you might be able to relate to me and just give me a bit of advice back. That's what I have to say in it. Who knows for the future, but that's personally how I'm feeling on it. I should also mention as well, by the way, that this is a conversation me and Alex have both had together. It's not that I don't want them and I've kind of told Alex, or Alex doesn't want them, he's told me. Honestly, we talk about it a lot, like a lot, uh, about how we're both feeling. And actually, luckily, we're both very much in the same thought process, which again gives me more feelings of this is the right thing for us. It's just been really, really good talking through how we'd imagine our lives with or without children and how we both feel about it and yeah luckily we both have the same opinions the two of us very much just on the same page with it so anyway um i'm gonna get back to this i want to quickly finish off this video then i'm gonna go have a peloton workout then i'm gonna quickly get ready and me and alex are gonna watch some of lord of the rings two towers we finished off the Fellowship of the Ring yesterday after starting it about three weeks ago. So we're going to watch that and just have like a cosy, chilled night, just cuddle up on the couch with Bo. I'm already looking at how long this vlog is, that's what I'm editing. So I know with how long I've spoken on here, this is going to be a full vlog. So I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, but I thought that this chat was quite important and um, just a nice like personal one just to kind of give you my thoughts. And I, yeah, I also just hope I haven't offended anyone with this. Like, like I said, this isn't against anyone, this isn't for anyone. This is just me trying to open up about how I'm feeling, just about my personal life journey. So I hope you kind of all appreciate that and support that and kind of respect that as well. How beautiful though is this dress, by the way. And the reason I'm in this is because I actually shot in this earlier. We went out into um, some nearby fields and took pictures in this beautiful dress and it was actually perfect for the shoot. So I'm really, really pleased with it. Obviously I'm keeping it. I'm absolutely love with it. I'm gonna pack it for my Venice trip. Uh, like I said, everything that I wore earlier really from the Netta Porte haul will be down below, linked for you. Thank you again to Netta Porte for sponsoring this video. Yeah, I guess I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!